Hey folks, what is up? It's me, Mike Vanderpool, and today we're going to talk about what you do when something actually sells on eBay. For those of you that are selling on eBay and following me, this course is about all things kind of eBay, starting from basically ground zero as a part-time seller like myself, just trying to offload some of the cards that I pull from my packs that I don't want to keep myself. So folks, if you want to follow along, pay attention to what I got going on, all that stuff, X is the place to be, aka Twitter. I am Get Good Dad, also known as Always Learn 24 7. This is where I post most of my stuff. I've got a Facebook page and other things, but Twitter is where I'm hanging out. I do have an eBay store. We talked about that in the original video, but today we're going to talk about what happens when something sells on eBay. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here and we will come to my seller hub. The seller hub, we can get to that from the drop down, my eBay selling, and you'll get some notifications here. I have one awaiting shipment. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm going to click on this here and you can see all kinds of good stuff. You see the order number, order details. And in this, you will see the payment. And this is actually where things get a little interesting, right? We, we see that we sold a card for $8. There was $2 for shipping. That's money that we put in. So there was a total of $10 there. eBay charged a dollar in sales tax for a total of $10.97. Uh, eBay collected that $1 sales tax and then eBay charged $1.75. We ended up, uh, after shipping, probably only making $6. And that's the transaction fee is really ate up everything I had there for shipping, which was 22 extra cents. So when we're selling cards, and one of the things we're going to look at in a future video is how do we price our cards with our shipping so that we know and can anticipate and predict what we're going to make when a card sells. Right now, with what I do for shipping, um, we're probably not going to make uh, as much as we, we might have with this card. Go back here, one step. So here's the order, and we have options. We can do a shipping label. Uh, we can add a tracking number if we send through an, a service other than using the eBay shipping labels. We can print coupons, mark as shipped if we ship again uh, external externally cancel the order customer contacts us and says hey you know what um i don't really want that card or my son uh my kid press the button uh, you'll hear that every once in a while i haven't run into that yet so thankfully but if you do and somebody wants to cancel an order you know what you do you, why fight it just go ahead and cancel that order we can add notes we can view the payment details and if we do cancel an order i'm not sure why we can't see this right now but you could go in and relist the item uh, if you canceled it then you could go and relist it We'll go ahead here and just do first things first. We're going to purchase a shipping label. Now, I believe we get a discount if we purchase from eBay. Uh, this is going to be approximately two ounces, give or date. The shipping envelopes that I'm going to use for something like this, like $10 and below cards, I use these armalopes. These are pretty, pretty phenomenal. They're actually cardboard. And if you uh, package the card nice and, and tight and right inside, uh, this works phenomenally well. We will show here in a second. I'll be packed for shipping. We'll come in here and you can look at uh, Ground Advantage, UPS Ground Advantage. This is what the buyer selected. Um, they want then 386 for shipping. Uh, we would save 25% on the, the buyer selected this, but you know what? Uh, we're not going to do that for the buyer simply because um, they only paid $2 for shipping, right? If they wanted to pay more, they could have paid more. And I'm not sure why eBay doesn't do that. Why it doesn't go ahead and take into account if the buyer paid this, why is it let the buyer select that? Uh, I'm again, not a hundred percent sure here, but you can see all of the different shipping options. If somebody wants FedEx next day, a UPS, there's all kinds of these options for people that buy. Um, we could go in here and we could do eBay standard envelope. The requirements here are a little interesting. Strict physical requirements. Envelopes uh, must be three ounces or less. Dimensions can't be smaller than like an index card and can't be bigger than 11.5 by six inches approximately. Uniform thickness, less than a quarter inch is at all point and not too rigid. That's, that's the thing that um, I don't fully understand, not too rigid. I don't know exactly what that means. This, this doesn't appear too rigid. Uh, you know, a card in a one touch would be rigid, but a card maybe in a top loader and or a sleeve here, semi-rigid sleeve, right? Semi-rigid, not too rigid, 
uh, would probably work. And that would give the, this uh, package a little bit of bendability. If a card bends a little bit, it's not a big deal, in my not so humble opinion. You know, bending versus folding. Uh, bending, as long as it doesn't give a crease or anything else like that, it's going to allow it to go through the sorting processing machine that the post office uses. And that's really what this is meant to do with these these standard envelopes. Bubble mailers, I, I use bubble mailers for more expensive cards and I'm also gonna probably charge at least $5 for shipping on those. Cardboard packages, now this is not actually cardboard, right? This is this is a um, card stock, but not cardboard. Uh, and any packing material of plastic. Uh, envelopes, we already talked about that. Class, strings, all that stuff. And uh, there's no plastic here. So these envelopes work pretty good. Uh, I believe in the listing, I said I was going to ship this card in the top loader. Top loaders are also, you know, semi-rigid. So we're gonna actually gonna see what happens here. And maybe I lose $5 on this or $10 on this. We'll actually see what happens here. But the nice thing with the uh, eBay standard envelope, I believe that those actually do include track. So let me switch here for a second. 88 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this. I'm gonna get a label that I print myself. Bingo, bango, bongo, it comes in here. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, and you can't actually see this, and can you, because it pops up here. Anyway, you have the option to download the label, you can print the label, all that kind of good stuff. Um, once you have your label, got my label here, show how we pack all this up in a second, go over this a little bit in further detail. We do wanna make sure we're leaving the buyer feedback. This is super, super important, positive, Quick payment, thank you. Always, always, always leave feedback. Feedback is such an important part of the eBay game that you really, really, really wanna make sure that you're leaving good feedback because hopefully that means people are gonna leave you good feedback. We'll do another video maybe talking about feedback a little bit more in depth. But we can come back here and we go into our seller hub again. We'll see uh, nothing is awaiting shipment. But we can go and look at what was has been paid and shipped. So we come in here, paid and shipped. We can see the information, what we sold, and there is tracking that's associated with this. This is phenomenal, right? There is tracking here so that the buyer can actually track when it's coming. If there's an, ever a dispute, I didn't receive my package, they received my cards, blah, 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 whatever it might be. The tracking is here and that is one of the good things with ebay standard envelope now i don't typically ship a lot with ebay standard envelope because i'm usually dealing with cards that are ten dollars plus i or or lots and those tend to be a little bit thicker that can't go in ebay standard envelope so i'm really relying on ground that ground advantage also does come with tracking so that's seriously it like you get an order you go to the seller hub you look at what's awaiting shipment, print shipping label, eBay will get you a shipping label at a discount. So you saw the ground advantage was like 25% off of what you'd pay list. The eBay standard envelope, that's a great option for shipping single cards, not, you know, ones that aren't super expensive. And then you leave feedback. And honestly, that's kind of it for you right now. So now that we have our label, and this was just printed on a brother printer. This, a lot of people use the thermal printers. That's where I'm gonna be going next. But you know, this video series is for folks who are kind of new um, and don't wanna do a huge investment. This is really just the labels that I use and have seen work fairly well are the Avery 8126. Avery 8126s, they seem to do a nice job. Uh, they've got two labels per page. Yeah, you probably spend more the, doing it this way than another way, but just getting started out it's a cheap easy way to get started i take the card then and the listing uh said it would ship in a top loader uh, so here's the card i put this card in a penny sleeve then i will take the top loader i'm going to put the card in the top loader bingo bango bongo so now i have this uh, i will then go ahead and put the card in what's called a team bag that way if it flops around flips around slides out um, it's protected, or at least helps the whole thing place a little bit more. I also love to ship because a lot of this for me is building a brand. I've got my Get Good Dad stickers. I put that in the team bag as well. So cards into the team bag or card into the team bag. 
sticker into the team bag. Boom, schlock, lock, boom. There you go. A little bit of glitter or sparkle uh, for those that care. Uh, the card then is protected here. Team bag, top loader, and a um, penny sleeve. It'll go in the envelope here just like this. Pretty rigid. I don't know. I don't know if this one's going to come back or not. I don't know. This this could be interesting. This is a little bit of a test here for me too. So uh, this this person purchasing, if it doesn't get to you where it needs to go, we can have a deeper conversation. I've got the tracking from eBay standard envelope, which is cool. I've got the envelope, which is well protected. Uh, I have the I've got the envelope, which protects the card really, really well. And then I've got my uh, label here up on the front. And I'm going to go drop this off at the post office and see what happens. But honestly, that, that's kind of it for the simple side of shipping, you know, your $10 envelope below cards. Hope that video gave you enough to think about when you're shipping cards. We will go through in a future video and look at the supplies and things like that that you need to order when I've ordered. Uh, as somebody again just getting started now with a whole bunch of room or space and dedicated to doing this stuff but just as somebody just getting out trying to break through and learn the ropes of selling on ebay bingo bango bongo this is ready for shipment all within you know a matter of minutes ebay the seller hub does a really nice job of making it clean and easy for you if you have any questions please 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 put the comments below like follow subscribe as i continue to build out this getting started on ebay selling sports cars of course be good to each other, folks. Take care.